Okay, Bernard, uh, you started training with TS Galaxy yesterday. So obviously, it's not much that you've seen, it, but what can you talk about what you've seen at the club, the players, the coach, Tim, for example? Oh, yes. Well, uh, today's my first session. Oh, it's your first session today? Yes, today's my first session. And, and so you haven't actually trained with the squad? Yet? I haven't actually trained with the but squad. But what's your first yes. impression from, from TS Galaxy? Uh, very warm, very warm, uh, very warm people, a lot of smiles, a lot of smiles, you know, and you know how they've, um, how they've welcomed me to the team, you know, it's actually, it's actually, uh, it's actually, uh, it actually makes me feel very important, you know, from the players to the technical team, the management, and also the supporters, because I was the game, the last, the last game. And um, uh, it's good to be here, and it feels great to be here. I think I, sp I spoke to Villa, and he said something similar to what you said. Tim made me feel wanted, he made me feel important. Yeah. Tim was speaking so highly of you. He said, yeah. Bernard is not coming here to become a final all time record scorer. He's coming here because you want to invest in him, you want your studies, you want to be coach, and things like that. Is that part of the reason of why you came here? That should be part of the reason of any player who, <laughs> who, who goes to any club, yeah. you know, for the club to invest in their players, you know, I would say, you know, invest in their players, yeah. for, them, for them to give back to the club as, as much as they can. And I, I, I'm grateful for the chairman, for the opportunity that he's given me, you know, and uh, how much he values me. And I believe I can add a whole lot of value to the team. Um, and I think um, with, with, the, with the rest of the, with the, rest of the, of the, of the senior guys, I think we can uh, work well together in terms of, in terms of, um, um, in terms of our leadership uh, and what we con can contribute to the club. So uh, it's the future. I, I, I see now that the future looks bright, and, and I'm happy to be part of this uh, uh, bright future. You obviously been watching Galaxy for the past few games. You must be licking your lips at their playing style and just picturing yourself involved in that midfield or maybe even up front. Do you think you'll probably go up front or, or what, what's your thoughts of this now? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know yet what what the coach uh, what the coach's <laughs> plans is for me. You know, but the team is doing very well. Mm. The team is very, very, very well. I'm here now to work hard for my spot. <laughs> Uh, I just, I just don't, I just, I'm not just gonna walk into the team. I'm gonna work hard for my spot, and the team is doing well, and they're doing great. So, um, so it's just for me to come and add uh, to their, to their uh, wonderful start uh, for the season, and make sure that we try and maintain, we try and uh, stay consistent as as much as we can throughout the rest of the season. It's a long season. Uh, and we, we just have to make sure that we can uh, do the best we can, we collect as, as much points as we can and then we'll see on and we'll, we'll see on and at the end of, at the, end of the, at the end of the year what's going to happen. But uh, you know Bernard Parker is a versatile player. You can put me anywhere, I'll give my, I'll give my 120 per, 20 to the team. But that, that's actually what I want to ask. Do you, consider, do you still see yourself as a striker? Do you consider yourself still as a striker? Or do you enjoy this midfield role so much? As this, this, is, this is my own now. Uh, you know, Bernard Parker has, has, has been a number 10 all these years, not as a striker, yeah. as a number 10. Yeah. So playing a behind striker, that that was my best role for all these years, you know, playing behind striker. Maybe because I scored so many goals, now everyone says I'm, I'm a striker, I'm a striker. But given a striker role, um, I'll do. Given the midfield role, I'll do. Given any role on the field of play, I'll do. And uh, that's just me. That's the, just the, the versatility that I have in me. And um, that's the professionalism I have in me. So any uh, opportunity I get, I'll grab it with both hands. you literally in better shape than some of the DC <laughs> players that I've seen. <laughs> And I've been watching you since SABC one time on Panoni Premier United. Yeah. What is the secret of your longevity? Like, seriously. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. You know, you have to invest in your body. This is your, your company. This is what 
what will give you results on the field of play. If you look after what you put in here is what will get out. So um, that's my that's my um, my how can I say my secret? <laughs> you know that's my secret. So I I give I give uh, a low lot of attention to to my body, what I eat, what I what I do, and I work hard as well. So it has to go hand in hand. Other than that, um, I'm happy. Uh, thank you for the compliment, <laughs> and I hope that the young boys will will, will see me in an, in as, as, as an example. And then finally, um, 11 years at Kaiser Chiefs, ups, downs, you leave as a club legend, a former captain. What personally, as Bernard Parker, was your highlights of your entire stay at Kaiser Chiefs? Uh, whoa. Uh, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot, you know. Um, I would say the, the most beautiful one was when... There's a lot, there's a lot. Just, just maybe one or two. Um, so when, we, when we lifted the league, when we lifted the, the league title um, after eight years, and then also... Um, by getting to the Champions League final, uh, uh, by captaining the team to the Champions League final. Thank you.